Hello and welcome to another episode of Gambia Beat. In this episode, we feature Gambian music by looking at two of our leading traditional musicians, Jelly Nyahali and Jelly Bakuyate, the maestro chora player. So sit back and enjoy Gambia Beat. <music> This is tradition. This is what belongs to us. This is what we evolved as a people. And um, uh, it was quite common in the pre-colonial and during the colonial period, you know, to have griots who would go around with their chorus, with their balafons. Then not even in the form of ensembles as we know them today, musical ensembles you know, where you have a large group of musicians coming together to sing. I think then you only had a few uh, people and, 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 you know, they move from place to place. Um, the griot with his chora, perhaps with his wife or two wives, as the case may be, would move from place to place playing his chora, playing it to his patrons um, who would give him gifts uh, of all kind, uh, money, cattle, you know, and, 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 and so on. Uh, because they were well revered, well respected in the community. They were not only musicians, but they were historians. They could narrate history as compellingly as possible. Uh, they knew genealogy of the various families um, uh, in any community, and they could um, uh, narrate you know, the genealogy of these families, uh, much to the delight, of course, of these families, and they give them gifts. So they were the custodians of our music, uh, the chora player, the halam player, the balafon player, the riti player, the flute player, you know, you name it, the simbing player, the bolombata player, all of them played um, a very, very important role in society. I started singing as a young child with a song called Mamala. I started singing this song at my bad place in Guinea-Bissau. Whenever I'm cooking, I'll keep singing this song, and my children have been cooperating with me. I normally go to naming ceremonies with a guitar and a xylophone. My father became blind, but he was a very great griot. He used to play an instrument called kondin. His name is Mohamed Kanute. I called my son after him. I have been struggling with my children for all this while till I found my sole partner, Alhaji Suntu Suso, and we get married here in the Gambia. I was very happy the day I received the award. I was so happy that I ended up crying. Even I said to Jai, saw me crying. I think of all the hardship I faced in the music industry. My children still beside me. To so continue in singing till today, all women join hands and give me an award. Tu n'as pas 
As a solo chorus player in the early 80s, that was not the real music I am doing at the moment. But um, after some, that's where the exposure started, the whole exposure. Uh, I was playing on the radio uh, frequently and yearly releases just for the outside uh, so that I'll be known. Um, for six, seven years. Um, then I thought of bringing in some other instruments, uh, even Western instruments, to blend with our cultural instruments so that to give it a power. Uh, we call it Afro Jamano, that is, uh, it's African though, but uh, it is as well. Uh, um, a music of the period, of the time. Um, we play music that concerns all ages, um, affecting everybody. Uh, we make sure that we carry messages. And uh, it's African, but uh, an, an up-to-date one. In the first place, as the saying goes, a prophet is never honored at home. And we government musicians believe that um, this is a sort of sickness in, in we governments. Uh, that is to put another product of another country over us. That's one problem. You know, we never look at our people to be great men, to be big men. So in that nature, it is a big constraint before one can try to climb up the ladder to a higher heights. Secondly, um, in terms of support, like uh, uh, instrumentation, is one of our biggest problems here. You have to be residing outside uh, and do anything for yourself. People backing me, um, only about 10% of them will be Gambians. But 90% of all of them will be outsiders. That's another constraint because I'm not getting my own people around me. Uh, as such, um, it, you know, paying the outsider may be more difficult. Um, and, uh, you know, an insider will have a greater feeling. Or will be able to walk with me hand in hand uh, better. So that's another constraint. We have to go out to get very big professionals. The young ones of the country are not learning instruments to a level desired. Success is, um, I did not pay heed to all obstacles. I just said, yes, this is what I am interested in, and this is what I'm doing. So maybe a fraction will like it, Another fraction may not like it, but I'll still continue for those who want me. Uh, daily, my, my, my audience are multiplying. And uh, I am appreciated in the sub region. Gini, you find me there, it's, 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 it's a big fight before you can get a ticket. Places like Guinea Bissau, I am yesterday from the customers for their independence, the whole region. And uh, outside, I accumulate like $150 a ticket. I acc accumulate more than 2,000, 3,000 audience. Every program I do. So I think that's a success. I think we can do a great thing. We can do a lot more than this. Um, let's just come back to see how we can help. 
you know, not actual helps to say, you know, you have to take out thousands of, of dialysis and give it to the, to the musician. But just show every program that the musician is doing, just show that you are around him and you support him, you are there for him. Then, um, when he's able to do 30, he'll be able to do 60. You know, that courage um, um, serves as fire for us. You know, that is what pushes us to do uh, better. Thank you for watching Gambia Beats. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us continue to enjoy Gambian music by supporting our musicians, going to their shows and buying their music. See you next time. Goodbye.